Hello again everyone! Hopefully everyone's having a good time, a good day, a good week. And we last left off in the Tomb of the Giants. At this first bonfire here. And uh, while we're here, I'm gonna equip cast light because, well, it's pretty dark. Okay, so there's nothing else here, it's just a small section with the uh, bonfire. I didn't mean to rest again, I wanted to read the message. Need Gollum? What the hell? Anyway, we go back up here and, uh, well, let's see what else is, or where next to go, really. Oh yeah, and let's leave a message indicating that there is a bonfire ahead because, well, it would have been nice to know. People might miss it. And that's, um, that's patches, I think. So I'm not sure... There's a section here with the whoa! What the hell is that? Uh, Betches, will you help me fight this guy? There's some shiny thing here. Oh, cutscene. Oh, items. Are we gonna jump down something? Whoa! Oh, right on the face. Dude, I've killed the four kings, small and Einstein. You think uh, killing you will be too much trouble? Uh, but anyway, let's take all this. Soul item. Soul item. Skull lantern. Okay, so we have a different um, item we can use to light up the area. But I've got my cast light on for now, so let's leave it be. Whoa! Hello, princess! You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights, and my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing? Nothing at all to be done. Why'd you guys come down here in the first place anyway? Were you looking for something? But anyway, she doesn't have anything else, uh, anything extra to say, so... I'm guessing her previous guards are here. These two cleric looking dudes. Say some sorcery. Bam! So that was a bit of a different fight, I guess. I don't think we fought many people who use miracles in the game, so interesting. You banished those two hollows, did you? No, I just that killed them. me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Okay. I am certain that both thank you so very much. No worries. Anyway. Uh, so let's move on. No idea if this is the right way, but uh well it's kind of long and uh, actually it does look like this is the way to go. Whoa! Kind of freaky when uh, the cast light thing wears off. Not quite sure why I still have three. Oh, I think because I accidentally rested at the bonfire again. So that's good to keep in mind, I guess. 
You could technically have four cast light. Yeah, this thing, the finicky lock-on system. Yeah, well, we deal with it, I guess. But this, but since this looks like the proper pathway to go, uh, let's go back here and see if we missed out on anything. Thankfully all these sort of skeleton things don't rise up and uh, attack you. Oh, an item. Dead end? Okay. Whoa! More of these guys. And more locking on not working. We had four of them ready to ambush us. But they're not so hard to deal with, so. Unless they kind of respawn or something like uh, the undead in the catacombs. That would be annoying. Especially since I think my divine weapon is pretty pointless now. I am sad. Although I do think I upgraded it to plus five, but uh, it's not even on my. It's not even on my radar to use. Whoa, more of these guys. Let's conserve some spells. We have a ladder to escape this pit that uh, Patches kicked us in. And actually up, uh, up ahead is a um, uh, fake wall that you can uh, break through. And uh, if you go, I go to the right which leads back to the bonfire and Patches. But if you go to the left it leads to the area I was in the first time I came to the tomb of the giants uh, where you can where there's a bunch of skeleton uh, in some sort of pit. You can remember because uh, the archers shoot from behind me. BAM! So yeah. To the left there are some more items and stuff. I think there's an ember even that I don't get here. Mostly because I didn't want to deal with the archers. So I just went to the right and there we are back at the first bonfire. And uh, patches should be up here, somewhere. Hello, dude. Oh, you. I. Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're. Jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Um, yes, no, yes, no, uh, whatever. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But, uh, if I were in your shoes, ooh, who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again. I wonder if we could like um, <laughs> kick him down into the pit. That would be cool. Sort of sweet revenge. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations. You know what I mean, don't you? Okay. Let's head back to the bonfire to replenish our spells.
nothing much else to do here, I don't think, except carry on, I guess. Oh yeah, let's check out the um, skull lantern that we just got and see if it's any, if it's useful at all. Fire damage strike weapon. Oh, okay. So I think it does a much better job than the uh, than the uh, cast light does, but uh, you do have to equip it and hold um, L1 down to use it so it does has it it does have its drawbacks so to equip to use something else you have to you have to change and it gets pretty dark if you do that so at least it kind of points you in the right direction so it's kind of good for stop start moments I guess not to constantly hold it if you want constant light I think the cast light is better or if you have the sunlight maggot then you can hear those um, skeleton dogs because they are they're panting you can hear them Something else seems to be coming as well. I get prah. Stupid archers. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, and we have a black knight. And uh see this is what I mean by not having any light. Can't really see and uh I'm hoping I don't fall off. Whoa! Oh damn! Oh don't die! Don't, oh, whoa! Okay, let's see if I can remember this terrain. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Almost died. You can see the arrows still trying to make their way to me, but uh... But there's something in the way, so... Ah! Here is where I think, uh, well, holding this thing doesn't really seem all that beneficial. So, let's use gas light. And it's pretty sweet that uh, one set of foaming soul masks can kill these guys. All these guys really, the skeleton dogs, the giant skeletons, hopefully these archer dudes as well. Yep. Uh, the only one left was the black knight that, that took quite a few. And we have an item here. And actually you can jump off from here to get another item. Uh, that I think is a bit harder to reach. But uh, you have all these messages as well. The thing is, these could have been fake messages and I couldn't really see down below, so I decided not to use it. But it does, it does work. There are. Whoa! Luckily, we saw that. There's an item up to my right somewhere. 
Then you have to go down to get it. Yeah, it looks like we have to go down to get it. I can still hear some skeleton dogs somewhere. I think the item was on the right, so... Maybe let's go to the right. Ah. I was trying to keep all my soul masses, but uh, oh well. And here we have it. And effigy shield. Okay. Doesn't look like we can see anything below. Oh, there's a bonfire down below. Okay, cool. So I guess we should be heading there next. Okay, dude, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. in here mm, looks like we gotta go down and that item that you can see on the top right there is the item I was talking about if you jump down and collected it I think it's a, it's a decent item it's a, an item that uh, can increase the amount of souls you gain for every kill like 20% increase which is pretty decent especially if you use it uh, during boss fights so or in that moment after you defeat a boss where there's a bit of time before the before the uh, souls are collected you can sort of switch the ring in and you'll gain an extra 20% which is pretty decent but uh yeah I missed it here so unfortunate So I think there was a bonfire here on my left, so let's head there. And uh, uh, me resting at that bonfire will be the end of this episode. So join me in the next part as we venture further into the Tomb of Giants and uh, explore further. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time really. Bye!